Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Uh, this is the uh, first review I've done of anything in probably about three months, uh, ever since Hurricane Harvey, where if you look on my channel, I showed some of the video, um, I lost everything because of Hurricane Harvey. Um, It's been rough. I didn't lose any figures. Uh, the only figure that I lost was my X plus Robbie the Robot. That's the only figure that I lost. Everything else was saved. Um, the only other things I could save were like some old comics and magazines I've had since the uh, 1970s. Uh, Famous Monsters of Filmland things like that. Uh, so I'm starting to rebuild. I still don't have my own place. Uh, I did security for the apartments I lived at, and since they've all been essentially wiped out, uh, I now have to wait approximately six months before I can move back in. So I'm staying with friends right now, and uh, it's a little cramped. It's a little, you know, no privacy, or anything like that. Um, so, I'm rebuilding my life, and I'm starting with this. This is Shin Godzilla by Ban Presto. And before we begin, I want to give a shout out to my friends in New England. Okay, now, here's, of course, here's the figure. We will get to the figure in just a moment. Here's the box, a very simple, plain white box. Of course, Shin Gojira, uh, fourth form, Kamakura landing. His first appearance as fourth form, uh, which was about 47 minutes or so into the film, uh, where he made his appearance. And... I have to start off and get the box out of the way. This is an amazing figure. The price point on this was about $100. Prices are slowly slowly, excuse me, going up. 150, 200. I saw one for 300. Um the dimensions on this figure are approximately 10 inches tall and about 19 inches from head to tail. So it's kind of comparable to the 25 centimeter put out by X+. Plus. The details on this figure are very well done. Um, this is actually a softer vinyl than X+. Plus. And there's some kind of pliability to the tail. The tail is kind of squishy. But like I said, it's a softer vinyl, but the details are still there. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the details. Now I'm recording this video on my Samsung S7, so I have to go kind of slow. I don't want to because it'll blur and things like that. And I, I really want you to be able to check out all the details on this. Now, we're going to go ahead and start off with the tail. As you can see, the tip of the tail is fine, is very well sculpted. The overall paint job on this figure is absolutely amazing. Um, it's very well done, very, very high quality. Um, this is certainly not a novelty figure. This is definitely something that, you know, does belongs on a collector's shelf. Just incredible detail in the tail. Uh, and of course, around, around here, is, there, there's a seam where they put the tail in. That's fine. Uh, along the legs, uh, I don't really see a seam. So I'm guessing maybe it's a unibody mold, possibly. 
Um, uh, here's the seam right here. Okay. Another one of the seams is right here in the arm where they put the arm in. This is a pretty bad seam. Uh, just don't pay attention to it. Another seam in the other arm here. And one of the worst seams, and I got to say this is a drawback, is on the back of the head. You can clearly see the seam here. Uh, it's a shame. Uh, it's very noticeable. But I don't think it's too distracting from the overall piece. The back of the figure, where the dorsal spines are, are incredibly well done. Um, being a softer vinyl, there's a little bit of play with the dorsal plates, uh, but that's fine. I mean, they're just the detail on the plates are just incredibly well done. This was a very well sculpted, molded figure. Um, it certainly, despite its price point, is not lacking in quality at all. Um, get a better shot of the dorsal plates, some light. Uh, the paint job is also incredible. The charred, burnt skin with the radiation just radiating through with the red highlights. Um, the only bad thing about the paint job I can, I have a problem with, should have been a little more black up in here, uh, in my opinion. Um, but if you just look at the detail on this figure, it is absolutely amazing. Uh, especially, I mean, I really love the work in the tail. Um, how the spinal plates diminish down and then just run into these the spikes along the end, toward the end here. Um, this was a very wonderful figure. And at the end of this video, I'm going to go ahead and uh, post a few high resolution photos so you can really see the detail in this figure. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the feet. Of course, the feet are this nasty brown, mustard brown, dark brown color. And you, if you look, I don't want to get too close or it'll blur. You can see his smaller toenails that are sticking out from the top of his feet here. And of course, again, here on the right foot, same thing. You got his other toenails, and of course the really just grungy looking, ugh, they're nasty looking. Uh, let's get a close up on the, see how close I can get with the hands. Of course here's his hands all shriveled up with the radiation just radiating, radiating through it. Uh, and again, that seam is very distracting. And uh, Take a look at the other arm. Again, just his hand just all, uh, uh, and of course, there's a little bit of movement being the softer vinyl. Uh, just amazing sculpting work on this. And let's get a look at this. And here is the face. Very well done. Uh, the teeth individually painted. Uh, I don't think this was so much a sculpt as it was a mold. Uh, so there's really, the detail in the face isn't as sharp as it maybe should be, I believe. Oops, I'm starting to blur. There you go. Um, but this is just a wonderful figure. Um, it really is. I think that Van Presto really did an honor to the character. this The detail in this is just so incredible. Um, I wish this was a slightly larger scale, maybe a 30 centimeter, and it would be, I think it would have been so much better. Now, Sega also came out with a figure, but I believe it's a little smaller than this. 
Uh, but I'm quite happy uh, with this. I mean, just look at the detail in this. It's just absolutely amazing. Uh, very well done for the price point. And it's, I'm just really glad I was able to pick it up at the low price that I was able to. And that's it. Shin Godzilla by Ban Presto. Um, I believe I mentioned it earlier that hundred dollars was is what I got it for, plus like twenty for shipping. But the price is going up. I have seen it on eBay for three hundred dollars. I wouldn't pay that much for this. I wouldn't even pay three hundred dollars for a twenty-eight centimeter shin. I really wouldn't. Um, this figure also has, or Ben Presto has also released two other figures from Shin Godzilla. Um, one is, uh, his mouth is open, lower jaw is open, like he's about to emit his radioactive beam or his radioactive breath. And everything that's illuminated in red is now illuminated in purple. Uh, he's about to release his atomic breath. Uh, that, I've seen pictures of it, that is a beautiful figure, and I'm contemplating the possibility of getting that one. I'm not sure yet. And the third figure from Ben Presto is Frozen Godzilla. Now, of course, you've seen the film. We know that at the end of the film, the blood coagulate freezes him. Uh, and it's basically this figure but painted in a gray, in a gray color, um, to, you know, because he's frozen. And that version is also available out here. Um, I've seen the, I, you know, I've seen all three figures on eBay. Um, maybe you can get lucky Hobby Link or Hobby Search or, or one of those places. Maybe they still have it at the lower price of, you know, a hundred bucks or whatever. But if you don't want to pay inflated X plus prices, this is a very solid, very viable option for you. Uh, there is no skimping on the detail with this figure, except for the seams, which normally seams or they come with figures. But the one along the head here is just so uh, grossly obvious um, that. It, to me, it looks like they just stuck his head on top of the neck and went, okay. But other than that, I give this figure easily a 9 out of 10. That seam on the head prevents it from a 10. It's an amazing figure, easy on the wallet, looks great, and would look really great uh, in your collection. So I would recommend you go out research, try and find one. Uh, even if you just get this one and not all three, this is a very good addition to your collection. Um, this is the first Godzilla figure that I've bought in a long time. Uh, about five years ago, I bought a uh, Bandai Museum Godzilla 62. Uh, that review is also on my channel if you look for it. Um, and now... Since then, I've gotten, you know, I've gotten uh, 2001 GMK Godzilla by X Plus, uh, 1954 Train Biter Diamond Reissue, and the 91 Yuji Sakai Diamond Reissue. So all three of those are in my collection. Uh, unfortunately, right now as it stands, since I don't have my own place to live, I have no place to display it, to, to display any of them. So, he's going back in the box. I just wanted to bust him out for a review, let you take a look at him, and see that it's an, ama it's an amazing figure. It really is. Uh, but that's my look at the Shin Godzilla from Ban Presto. Uh, I'll go ahead and take some photos, and um, they'll be uh, at the end of this video. Thank you for, thank you for watching, and uh, see you again soon.